Gas prices over the last 10 years have steadily been on the rise. Even as early as the 1970s, the United States had insight as to the power OPEC held over their dependency on foreign oil. Many American car companies continued to produce automobiles that used fuel inefficiently. They could do this because the United States experienced relatively low gas prices compared to the rest of the world. Adding to this was the idea that some American consumers continued to demand larger automobiles. At this stage, American car companies were frozen and unwilling to change the types of automobiles they were designing. Kurt Lewin would say that in order for the unfreezing process to begin, motivation for doing so needed to be apparent. In 2008, when oil prices were above $140 a barrel, the American public began to thaw. Dealers for these companies literally claimed that overnight, people stopped buying larger automobiles. Instead, consumers wanted the cheaper and more fuel-efficient cars. For foreign automakers, fuel efficiency had been a reality they dealt with years ago. They already had the more desirable cars on the marketplace. American automakers realized that they had to change their automobile lineups or face extinction. Kurt Lewin would mark this as the end of the unfreezing and the beginning of the change process. Now, American automakers are in the middle of the change process, hoping to avoid bankruptcy and introduce the new lines of fuel-efficient automobiles that will compete in this new auto market. Kurt Lewin would say that once production rates return, employees that traverse the change process should be rewarded. This would mark the beginning of the refreezing process.